Hi guys! I've been getting a lot of requests for a DIY bath bomb and I've actually never made one so this week I got together with my friend Kingsley. You guys might know him from his hilarious YouTube videos and we tried out a bunch of different recipes. Today I'm going to show you the one that works best and a cool trick to make them fun for the kids. So cool. I'm Brooke and I'm passionate about making beautiful things for my family on a budget. So here's what you're going to need to get started. Baking soda, citric acid, cornstarch, Epsom salt, soap coloring or food coloring, a plastic mold, castor oil, and an essential oil for scent. First, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients. We're gonna use a half a cup of baking soda, a quarter cup of Epsom salt, which soothes muscles and softens skin. We're gonna put in a quarter cup of cornstarch, and that just helps hold everything together. And finally, a quarter cup of citric acid. This is the most important ingredient because it reacts with the baking soda to create the fizz. Now we're gonna give this a quick whisk and mix our wet ingredients. We're gonna start with three teaspoons of castor oil. I love using castor oil in beauty products because of all its therapeutic properties. It's non-comedogenic, it's a natural anti-inflammatory, and it's super hydrating. Next, we're gonna add one tablespoon of our essential oil. This is really just for scent, so you can use whatever you like. Now I'm adding the soap coloring. You can also use regular food coloring. You wanna just put in a few drops. You don't wanna turn yourself blue. And don't worry, this will not stain your bathtub. Finally, a tablespoon of water and then mix. All right, now we're gonna mix everything together. You wanna to add the liquid very slowly so that it doesn't activate the solution, and then start whisking. You'll notice it start to clump together. You're gonna to wanna to continue whisking until you have a thick, even consistency. Your kids will have fun helping you mix these up as well. Our mixture is done. I just love this cool mint color. It looks so refreshing. And now we're gonna fill our mold. I'm using an old plastic Christmas ornament, but you could also use a soap mold or even a plastic Easter egg. Pack it in really tightly. Now I'm gonna add a little surprise to the middle. This is totally optional, but it's really fun if you're making it for your kids. And I'm using these little capsules. I loved these when I was little. Once they dissolve in the water, they turn into a sponge animal. And it's just an extra surprise after the bath bomb dissolves. Now we're gonna put the two sides together and you wanna hear it snap. And then I prefer to let them dry overnight, but if you wanna use it right away, you can pop them in the fridge for 30 minutes. All right, our bath bomb is dry. Now we're gonna open it up and test it out. So you wanna just gently tap on the plastic and do the same thing on the other side. And ta-da, we have our bath bomb. These turned out really, really cool and they make great gifts. You can actually leave them in the mold and just tie a ribbon on top. Now for the fun part, let's test this baby out. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Whoa, this looks so cool. Totally making me want to take a bath. All right guys, thanks for the great suggestion on the bath bombs. These are so much fun to make and I think they turned out really cool. Keep the ideas coming in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next Friday. Bye guys. Bye guys. It's really going. Oh, oh. It's gonna overflow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I wasn't expecting this! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Are you getting this? <laughs> oh, I had no idea it was gonna work this well. Whoa, whoa, do not try this at home, kids.